What up folks, welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys and today I have a review of the SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Z Shenron. That's right peeps, Shenron has been released in Japan. You can get him uh, as an import, though I think think he might be sold out at that level right now uh, but do give a check to Ami Ami Hobby Search Hobby Link Japan which is where I got him from uh, I don't know exactly the status right now but definitely give it a check if you want to get him in early uh, though Bluefin is bringing him in soon as well and I think you can still get him at a few outlets um, yeah, this was definitely one of the most highly anticipated releases of the year uh, in, in the toy world, I think. I, I, I'd say that's, you know, definitely uh, <laughs> uh, one that most folks have been wanting. Even if you're not a Dragon Ball Z fan, this is one incredible release. I've seen this guy uh, around... A few times at the Tamashi World Tour, at New York Comic Con, and it, it as far as size goes, it just neither did this one justice. Uh, it is tremendous. If you saw my unboxing video, you saw how big the box was. Um, it's just like a, a a wide box. It's not really a thick box, but but still, it, it's a big big figure and uh let's get some size comparisons out of the way because i know you guys really want to see uh how big he is and like i said this release appeals to many folks this is uh orb origin you know let's let's bring in some kaiju type folks first yeah uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, who do we have here? I just reviewed Godzilla. Hey, yeah, I'm Godzilla. Um, I'm SH Monster Arts, Godzilla. So as you can see, he is tremendous. Now, one of the things I said was, you know, appeals to a wide audience, and I think a lot of folks... Uh, a lot of kaiju fans, and this is why I brought out these guys. I'll I'll uh, compare them to some Dragon Ball Z figures a little later on in the review. Uh, but I wanted to get these guys out of the way because there's a definite big contingent of folks that wanted a, this guy for maybe like a Manda uh, like possibility, like for a repaint or something. But as you can see, yeah. He's, he's a little big for that scale, so it is what it is, um, but he is a definite cool figure to have, uh, you know, if you enjoy monsters, kaiju, monster arts, whatnot. So, yeah, big, big guy, though. Just wanted to put that out there right away. So, taking a look further... You know, let's start really taking a look, actually. Um, we'll see he comes with uh, this stand here. And it's got, like, three arms. One gigantic one that's holding up his neck here, right down the middle. And then it's got two on the side uh, with two little, like, arms here that you could adjust up, you know. And honestly, guys, the way I have them is not the way that's prescribed in the directions. It's telling you to put them in the middle. I could not get this guy to stand. Also, the Dragon Balls down here, they make you put it on the stand, and it just doesn't work out. It's like the way it's pictured, at least for me, in the, uh, you know, in the promo pics, on the box, whatever, I can't get him to get that way. So there you go. But this stand works really nicely. As you can see, it looks really cool on the stand, uh, and it's done very well. So that's all I have to say about the stand. And yeah, these arms are not where they're supposed to be. That's the other thing. So the Dragon Ball effect here, Dragon Balls. 
you know, has these cool little copper Dragon Balls and they do, they can come out, you know, it has little holes in there for them. Uh, and then this nice little effect part, uh, which has some nice shading in there, you know, like coming out from the copper out. So it's not bad, you know. You can use a Tamashi effect, uh, like in the direction. I do have one here, the electrical effect, if you want to put some down. Um, yeah, and I probably will do that because I have a lot of that. And too much for what I got it for. I got it for Pikachu. But yeah, so there you go. This effect part. It does look good on the bottom here. So, so let's 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 get in a little closer here. Let's take a look at his head sculpt. It's pretty good, you know. It looks very nice. His antlers look pretty cool. Now the antlers are done in a soft plastic as well as uh, his little hair here on the sides. Uh, and then his whiskers here, I don't, it, you know, I'm not sure. It's it's a soft plastic, but I'm not sure if there's a bendy wire in there or what. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, each side has a different thickness of wire to put in there, uh, which is odd, but you know, at least you can tell which side goes with which. Uh, I still found it odd. Let's bring him a little closer. I'm going to try to utilize the stand as much as possible. And I'm going to say this as a negative. Um, for me, the big joints where he comes together, he doesn't like to stay together much. Um, they're different joints and now, you know. You know, but hold on. Before we even get to that, let's... Let's take a look. The skull, you know, at the rest of the sculpt, or not. Let's just take them off now. <laughs> so, the yeah, let's go. It's nice scales, nice uh, dorsal fins. The scaling looks really good, for sure. His underbelly has some nice little grooves in it. And see, he, his back part fell apart. So we're going to look at that joint right now. As you can see, it's a very different joint. It's not a ball joint. Uh, it's got like a little, little groove there. Um, and then you, in the inside there, it has a corresponding hole. So you want to stick that piece in the right hole for it to really get in there fine. But it doesn't really stay. You know, like, he's very, he's kind of heavy, and it just doesn't stay. So, but, <laughs> the sculpt on this guy is pretty cool for sure. Let's take the stand away. Oh, boy. Here's the rest of his tail if you want to see that. It looks good. Again, it's a nice sculpt. Oh, this one is in pretty good. So pretty nice overall. Paint wise, let's just go over the paint. Uh, it's very plain paint, and this is one of my other complaints. Um, very, very plain, uh, no shading really. You got the red around here, and it's not perfect. You know, it, does, it comes in and out of the lines a bit, as you can see there. Um, I would have liked some shading here in the yellow and then maybe a little bit of a wash on the green and as you can see I got some like paint chipping there so and I haven't really done anything with this guy so I, I mean I just got it and that's really like everything his nails are painted black and then his face, and look, we lo I lost I lost one of his whiskers. We'll we'll put it back. I see it. His eyes are very red. It's nice, fine. His teeth are white, and inside his mouth, you got his tongue there, and a nice tonguey color. And I see his head come, came apart. <sighs> so 
Let's see if we could get it in a little better. Okay, pop that in there. And there you go. That's a little more secure this time. Um, right here in his belly, I have a slit in the paint, and it's not a joint. There, it's just a slit in the paint. Not so hot. <laughs> Not so hot, guys. Um, now, like, I know I'm complaining a lot, but this guy is still rather cool. But he does have, like, some, like, frustrating qualities. And I just think, you know, paint-wise, uh, this guy should have been painted more. You know? I just, I really feel that. And it just needs a little more paint. So that's how he kind of stands without, where, where's that whisker? Where's that whisker? I'll show you guys the whisker. So he's got a little, little groove there, a little peg. And you want to just pop that in on the side of his face. So yeah, it's okay. It is okay. Let's let's get this guy situated a little better here. All right, for articulation on this guy, you got a jaw, jaw hinge there. I don't know if the tongue comes up at all. I feel like it does. I can't really get it to do anything to. Uh, Comes up a little bit. I don't know if it's actual articulation, but head is on a ball joint there. And you got, I lost the thing again. You got one joint here, another joint here, joint there, joint there, joint there, joint there, joint there. Very monster arts like there, like kind of like the tails. Then as you saw, you have that big joint here at the arms, there's a hinge there, and then uh, a joint that goes right inside his arm. So it does swivel, but you get a more movement there. And then it turns in, kind of like a butterfly joint uh, without really being one. And then you got bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, works really well. Hinge, swivel, then you think you have a joint there, but you don't. <laughs> you got another joint here, another joint here, and then the big joint that I showed you down here that holds it together. And then, oh, I just noticed another slit in the paint there. That's not so hot. And then hinge in there, which has some excess glue on mine, and that's easy to take off. Same thing, same kind of arm here actually. Swivel, double joint, hands. The one thing I have to say is it actually gets a little confusing with the arms and legs because they all just look the same, um, at least when putting it together. You got joint here, joint here and join here. So less as you get down, the major articulation points are in the neck region, um, and the arms are very well articulated. Well, let's put this guy back. So he's staying together a little better now, so maybe it's really, you know, all in how you, how hard you get it in there and how perfectly you align the, a joint that I showed you. So that's how big he is without the stand. Uh, I want to show you this is the Shenron that we put together as far as the uh, Bandai America went. And this was just a static figure. 
uh, and it's very, very coiled. I think if you uncoil this, it'd be a little bigger. Because uh, this guy actually has a bigger head. So, very interesting. Um, but, you know, like, the thing is about this is the paint is on par with this. So, how about that? You know, like, very similar paint uh, quality, you know, and not much going on in either. So I don't know if that's just a product of just like being accurate to the animation or whatnot, but I would have liked a little more on this guy for sure. Just me, I don't know. Uh, speaking of Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars, here's how it scales with their Goku. Pretty good, you know? And then with the SH Figure Arts uh, Awakening. Goku. So there you go. If, if I could get him to stand, that would be better. So, eh, there you have it. This guy is huge. Uh, if you want to see this guy next to uh, Godzilla again, now that he's down, it'd be an interesting fight, for sure, on your shelf. <laughs> I do like this guy more on this big stand though that's for sure so I will show you this here that's what that looks like and you wanna just pop it in you know wherever you'd like again I like it not where they told me <laughs> it just works out better and you can turn these these are little like you know little arms there so let's try to get this guy back on the stand in some way. Ah, there you go. See? This guy just looks so cool on the stand. Just a camera. It's just a really nice piece. So that's what I really have to say about this. This is a really nice display piece. Um, when you're not looking at it too close and you, you know, you don't see all the little paint. Actually, you know what? I, I actually got this guy more like the, uh, the promo picks now because I was able to get his tail to face down. So I don't know how I, exactly I did that, but, uh, twisting and turning and <laughs> playing around with him just now, I was able to do that. So pretty cool. It looks a little better. But yeah, he's a really, really nice display piece, no doubt. I mean, looking at it like this, it's just very, very cool. I know this whisker should be like that. Ah, the whiskers. At least this side, this smaller side, actually has a hard time staying on for me. There you go. Any sort of, like, movement on it, and it's like... But yeah... It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's got issues. It's not m meant for heavy play because it really does uh, frustrate you. But as far as the display piece, you know, it looks good. I would like more shading, yes. But once I put him on the shelf and I don't really look at him too closely, um, you know, he'll probably be behind you know, Goku here, and, um, I'll be fine with that, you know, like, is he worth the price? Yeah, I mean, just basically on, on how big this guy is, he's worth the price. Would I have liked him a little better? Yeah, I would have liked a little more paint on him. I, I would have liked his joints to stay together a little better, but it's so big, it's so hard. I don't know. They, I, I think the joint they could have did something like that locks better. That's my my personal opinion on that. But otherwise, really nice display piece. He's going to look awesome on your shelf for sure. And if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, you're definitely going to want him. You know, fans of dragons, yeah, he's going to be awesome. Eh, if you're trying to do like a Manta thing, I don't think he's going to work, guys. But, you know, as far as scaling goes... You know, you might, he might look better with, like, an X+. Plus. <laughs> Honestly, you know, like a, one of the smaller X-pluses, um, if you want to do that. 
But uh, yeah, I I, uh, I I could still say I recommend him. He is he's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely I definitely like that I have him. Again, when he's on the stand, he is awesome. Off the stand, not as much. So, and then, like, once you start playing around with him, you know, he does get a little frustrating. And there are these, like, really, like, annoying slits here in the paint that look like they could have been more articulation, but they're not. Um, and they just look weird. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a bummer. Alright, but that's all I have on SH Figuart Shenron. You give me your opinion on it. Uh, am I being too harsh? I don't know. Like, usually, uh, um, you know... I could take a lot of things, but for some reason, I just, I don't know. I just i just feel like there could have been more here for the price point. It is expensive. So that's my, my final thought on it. All right, guys, that's all I got. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.